Okay, so today I'm going to go through the steps with you on how to efficiently and effectively use and adjust Bella Vista. As you know, the Bella Vista has a unique touchscreen display which allows us uh, many ways to manipulate and, and adjust the settings. As we have the Bella Vista now, we are in the standard start screen setup and you can observe certain aspects. Firstly, we have the alarm lights on the top, either side, which are visible from 360 degrees and currently they are blue. The blue lights are basically showing you that the Bella Vista is in standby. Coupled to the blue alarm lights, you also have a visual alarm bar. On our standby screen, we have channeled the setting parameters into a clear, understandable way to set up the machine. On the right-hand side here, we have the profile selections. And the two standard profiles are last patient and new patient. If I choose the new patient profile, the Bella Vista activates the second patient profile setting, which then allows me to adjust the patient category, adult, pediatric, or neonate. When I've selected the adult patient, I can work down the profile and I can see I have an option to input a patient height to determine an ideal body weight. So in this case, I can choose a female patient or a male, whichever gender, and you can then select certain parameters on the, on the screen. So adjusting the parameters on Bella Vista, as you can see, I have a plus button which allows me to increase and a minus button which allows me to decrease the set value. You can do this in various ways. You can do small inputs by pressing either button once, or you can press and hold the value minus, press and hold the value plus, which will run it up. Or if you're in a hurry and you want to make large changes, you can select the value and slide the button up and down. And you can see you can make rapid changes. Once you're finished and happy with your selection, to clear the screen, you press, okay, you accept the value. And now you'll see <coughs> Bella Vista shows you that you have input, in this case, a female a height, and the ideal body weight has been calculated. So you can input a lung pathology, if it's known to you, to help the ventilator select certain key parameters in terms of the ventilation setup. So you can see obstructive disease, restrictive, unknown, and again, you can do the same way. You select the value and you press OK. Moving on to the next step is where, as I showed you earlier, Bella Vista is currently set up as an invasive mode of ventilation. I can change this mode of ventilation by selecting the, the second button, non-invasive, and you'll clearly see a slight change in the screen. Because when I select non-invasive ventilation, I get a blue border, which indicates to me that the Bella Vista is in non-invasive ventilation. This also allows you to see from a distance what mode of ventilation you're in. So if you're standing far away from the machine, you can see that the Bella Vista is now set up in a non-invasive mode due to the blue screen bars. On the next selection on the setup panel is the actual patient settings. Bella Vista always starts up in a standard PAC mode, pressure assist control. And if I want to modify these settings from here, I press the fly out button and it gives me direct access to all the modes and all the settings. So here we are. And these settings can be adjusted in exactly the same way. You press the button, it'll bring up the value. You can make small adjustments and you can apply. To start ventilation on Bella Vista is a simple press of the start button. Okay, now you can see Bella Vista has transitioned from standby mode into ventilation mode. And now we have transitioned into our start screen with a our icon buttons on the, on the bottom and the Bella Vista display showing me waveforms as well as some set parameters and some further information. True to everything, we have an alarm. So this again shows me the indication, a red alarm, the lights are flashing. I have a red indicator panel here showing high tidal volume alarm and I can now go and activate or, or, or do something about this alarm. So to activate or to get into the alarm settings page, I can look on the bottom icons here. You can see I have six icons. On the far right is the alarm settings icon, which is currently red. And it has a number two, which means there are two active alarms. I can see on my screen here, I have two active alarms because I have these, vent these ventilation parameters highlighted, one in red, one in yellow. And the red and yellow means high level alarm, mid-range mid alarm, but we just indicate the highest level of alarm here. And to act, get to my alarm settings, I can press the alarm button or I can straightforward press the, one of the buttons that are highlighted. 
Firstly, the alarm screen shows me all the alarms that are active on the machine, but currently the two that are actually violated in red is this tidal volume alarm, and in this yellow is the minute volume alarm, and they're also clearly indicated by the two, by the red box and the yellow box. It'll show me which value of the alarm is, is actually violated. In this case, it's the high alarm, and in the same way, I can press the button one by one, or I can move it quickly, and I can select a value that is safely above or around the actual setting. The actual setting in this case in the alarm box is actually shown. You can see the white bar is showing me the actual tidal volume alarm. This box here shows me the high alarm setting, the low alarm setting. If I'm happy, I can apply that. Now we can see the Bella Vista vent dating. I would like to now show you the different areas of, of interest on the screen. So on this first part of the screen, we have our waveform selection. These waveform selections currently show me pressure, flow, and volume, which is a standard selection on most ventilators. Next to the waveforms, I have got a certain parameters which show me various values of the ventilation, peak pressure, peep, tidal volume, minute volume, and you can see they're in different layout. They have different sizes, large square box, mid-sized square box, and a small box. Next to these boxes, I have some other further indications. I have information about the ventilator setup, the circuit I'm using, and I have some further action buttons that I can use as well. Below this, I also have my main ventilation parameters, which as I started off, when you saw the first screen, you saw the PAC setting. I had the same four box parameters. If I wanted to see more, I pressed the fly out. So here I have my monitoring screen. It brings me up a different set of monitoring. As you can see, more space for waveforms and further monitoring parameters. One of the Bella Vista's unique features is our setting screen. Bella Vista has an interactive setting screen that allows you to make small changes on the Bella Vista and immediately see how these changes will react in terms of the actual ventilation parameters. So what we are seeing here is on the top screen we have a real-time pressure waveform. On the bottom here we have a ventilation setting box. And if I press any of these values, like auto rise, it will allow me to change the value that's related to auto rise. If I press the P pressure here, you can see it's related to the P max setting. And again, the P max, the P inspiratory pressure is highlighted, and it brings up a box here. On here, I would like to highlight further points. On the top of the Bella Vista screen, you see on the right side here, you have a arrow icon. And on the left side there, you have a, I'll call it a page identification icon. With these icons, we can operate Bella Vista like a search engine or a browser in a computer. This button over here is what it says. It's a back button. If I press this button backwards, I've gone back to the previous screen that I was in. So you remember I was on this screen before? If I press it back again, it'll take me back to where I was. So I can use this button for up to 10 pages to remember the last 10 pages that I've gone. You've seen this button monitoring here is actually duplicated there. But now I have a second application called expert monitoring. If I want to see what expert monitoring brings me, I can access the expert monitoring page, and now you can see there is a further screen page here. So in this expert monitoring page, I want to show you two things. One, take a note on the right-hand side here, you have two page buttons. That means expert monitoring has two pages available to it. If I press the second button there, expert monitoring jumps over and it has a full ventilation waveform page. Loops, waveforms. But now I'd like to show you one of the unique features of the Bella Vista. Once you get to know the Bella Vista and you know where you are going, we can navigate by navigating through the main buttons, which I expect most of us to use most of the time. But once you get to know the machine, you can realize that I've got four pages and I know what this page is over here. This page over here is my maneuver page. And now I can use my swipe feature on the Bella Vista screen to move between different pages. So now I don't have to go look for buttons. I can do it by just merely swiping through the screen. I'm going to this screen. Oh yes, I know what this next screen is. That next button is going to be ventilator settings. And because I've used the Bella Vista for a long time, I know that the last page is always my apnea backup ventilation settings. So now you've navigated through Bella Vista very effectively. You've started off simply by using the simple ventilation buttons. You've advanced to using the back button. You've got to know the page buttons. And last but not least, you've learned one of the most interesting features of Bella Vista, you can swipe through the pages. In this manner, you can use Bella Vista very efficiently and very effectively at all times. 
When you are finished using Bella Vista, again, the last feature is stop ventilation. Activate the stop button. Like I've said before, you need three step access. Stop, confirm, and the ventilator stops. And we're back to our standby page.